Hey there, Joseph Curtis here, and uh, I'm going to follow this video on from the one I did uh, earlier, which was about the uh, Chris Cross social media snowball promotion. I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but this video is going to tie on from that, and it's just sort of going to the thinking behind how we use our uh, Facebook and our YouTube to grow our business, how we use our Facebook to grow our YouTube and our YouTube to grow our Facebook, and then how we use our um, business to grow our Facebook and our business to grow our YouTube um, in terms of building that, those uh, following, building up our presence, building up our authority and building up our groups online. So this is the, the, three, the three methods we use and I do see um, a lot of people who are promoting too many on too many avenues so they're spread very thinly so they're trying to promote their business on Facebook YouTube Instagram Pinterest snapchat tumblr you know Google plus all these different and there's no link there's no cycle that makes that work all you've got is a list of them one two three four five six seven and they're actually all competing with each other that is um, a, a point I want to make in this video that if you're not careful, you can have it so that your promotion avenues, Facebook, YouTube, and etc., are actually competing with themselves and not actually helping you to grow a presence on any one of those avenues. It's much better to focus on two or three um, avenues of promotion and build them strong than have all these broken links uh, for all these different things and you're not building any of them to a proper, loyal, solid um, account. So let's go and show you the three that we use. These are the pretty much the only three uh, websites we use to promote, or the only three traffic methods, should I say, uh, because the third one isn't really a, a website. But the first one is um, Facebook. So we use Facebook in a few ways, and I can, I'm going to go over that a bit more in this video. Uh, the second one we use, and what you're watching right now, is YouTube. So YouTube is the second traffic source. And if you're watching this video, you know that this works because you're watching this video. So this is one of the traffic sources uh, we use. We provide value and that attracts people to us. and That helps us to build our YouTube following and our Facebook following and our business and our plan, which helps to build our Facebook and our YouTube. And it just cycles and cycles and goes round and round. Uh, the third method of promotion is SA. And this is uh, solo ads. And I'm going to color this a different color. I'm going to do this one in blue. So we have um, two free traffic strategies. And when I say free, um, I don't mean completely free because you are always paying for traffic in either one or the other. So you're either spending money to acquire uh, traffic or you're spending your time <laughs> like I am doing now. And that's the other way you can get traffic to your website. So you're either spending time or you're spending money. Um, and what we do is we combine both of them. So we have two free methods, Facebook and YouTube. And we have one uh, paid method, which is solo ads. And what happens is uh, they all work together. They all work together. So down here, I'm actually going to put the uh, endless wealth plan, which is the um, free it's our business marketing system and our traffic all in one. So this is what this is our main um, offer that we drive visitors from Facebook. We drive them down here. Uh, we drive people from YouTube down to the Endless Wealth Plan. We also drive people from Solo Ads uh, directly to the Endless Wealth Plan as well. And inside the Endless Wealth Plan is a, a business, a marketing system, and a traffic source that just snowballs each other. Uh, once you get that rolling. So we, we grasp all these uh, traffic, we grasp all this traffic to our endless wealth plan and that helps us to grasp even more traffic and even more traffic and even more traffic. So what we do is we use these sites and these methods in and they all complement each other because most of our time is spent uh, doing YouTube videos and Facebook and a solo ad takes about 10 minutes to do. Um, to order a solo ad and get some traffic that takes about I'll just move me over <laughs> that takes about 10 minutes to get a solo ad so that doesn't take up any time at all um, we just use some of our profits from the EWP to pay for the solo ad which then drives more sales into the EWP which then drives more traffic and so on that's how that cycles itself and pays for itself so let's talk about Facebook 
and YouTube and how we use them in combination. So if you watch my uh, video I did this morning, uh, with Facebook, what we do is we post on there every single day and we also uh, share a lot of value on our Facebook as well. So what we do is we post our YouTube videos on our Facebook profiles and into our uh, private Facebook group as well. Uh, we post videos in there from our YouTube. So what does that people? What what does that do? Well, that gets people onto our YouTube channel, and and that also means that obviously people who are watching our videos are going to um, opt in with the endless wealth plan and um, go into there. So this is one way we drive traffic. We send put our YouTube videos on our Facebook, and then they go and watch the YouTube videos, and then they go into the endless wealth plan and into the business some of them um, now with the uh, Facebook what we do here so yeah we promote our YouTube videos on Facebook but we also promote our Facebook on our YouTube as well so if you see in the link in the description in every YouTube video um, is a link to connect with me um, on Facebook so those are linked as well our Facebook and our YouTube and so people can come to our Facebook see our posts and check out our endless wealth plan on our Facebook and people can uh, go to our YouTube videos and do the same thing they can check out our Facebook and our endless wealth plan so these basically these three here all cycle um, around each other so it's actually like a wheel it's like you've got your EWP here you've got your Facebook here you've got your YouTube here and you just have a, a wheel that just spins and it just keeps spinning now rather than having a if we did it the way that most people do it and I definitely don't recommend to do this like we have Facebook we have YouTube it also becomes a lot more complicated so you know you've got Pinterest you've got your Google Plus uh, you've got let me say LinkedIn Instagram snapchat and the big mistake is to believe and I've done this myself before, uh, especially when I first started, I thought the best way to promote uh, my online business is to put out, go do it in as many different social media avenues as possible. So do it on Facebook, do it on Facebook, do it on YouTube, do it on Pinterest, do it on get, go to Google+, Plus, do it on LinkedIn, do it on Instagram, do it on Snapchat, do it on all of these. But there's no real link between them. And it gets very complicated as well, you know, promoting each one on each other and building that loyal fan base, you're going to have them scattered. You're going to have them scattered and not actually build up a solid base. You need a solid base. So you need either a Facebook or you need a YouTube or you need a Pinterest or you need a Google Plus or you need a big email list or you need a, a, link, a big LinkedIn following, a big Instagram following, a big Snapchat following. And then, of course, when you've got 10,000 followers on Facebook, then, of course, by all means... Um, grow a second one strong so then you know go to YouTube build a big channel on that okay and the great thing is once you build up your Facebook to 10,000 uh, followers and you're putting your you're, you're building a YouTube channel you're posting videos on your YouTube chances are that you can then post that on your Facebook and guess what a lot of these 10,000 followers are going to check out your YouTube and that's going to help you actually grow your YouTube channel faster so the only way that you want to do multiple uh, promotion avenues is if you've built one up solid first and then you can move on to a second and build that up as well and then move on to a third and build that up as well and it's the same thing uh, the same concept actually applies to multiple income streams which I um, you know I love multiple income streams but at the end of the day you've got to build up one first before you can then add on a second and third and fourth and what a lot of people do and again I've done this I've done all the uh, rookie mistakes when I first started out but I would have like I would draw like four businesses I thought oh great I'm gonna make money with all four of these businesses but my time is divided between each one so I end up getting no results in pretty much all those businesses and also I don't know where I'm promoting it I'm promoting it all over the place different businesses all over the place my time's running out I'm not building a following anywhere um, it's not it's competing so it's actually a competing offer and again, that's another video I could do, a completely different video, just talking about that. So when you're actually promoting your businesses, a lot of people will say, what a lot of 
a big mistake that people make is to promote competing offers. So you would have like three businesses that are basically the same business. Um, you'd have, and they all compete each other, both for your time, and then people that will be following you, people, the people who do follow you will be confused because you're, one week you'll be promoting this, and then one week you'll be promoting that, and then one week you'll be promoting that, and they're going to get confused, and they just think you're jumping ship and not actually getting any results in any business. So at the end of the day, why should they follow you? Whereas if you have a plan, um, you could stick to a plan, and of course you could swap out businesses, you could swap out uh, a marketing system, you could swap out different traffic sources, but you're still always going to be following that one plan. So that's another reason why we have a plan because it, people say it, it's a lot more solid as well. Um, if a business goes down, like any business can go down, um, you can just replace uh, the business or you can just replace a traffic source. If, if a traffic source goes down, you can replace that. And the plan is rock solid. It's a foundation. And so the plan is always going to be there, whereas the business is not. And if you're promoting um, an online business and it crashes, then all your, unless you've built up a second income stream uh, before that happens, then you're back at square one again. So, whereas if you have a plan, you can just, you've got that plan in place, you can just swap out a video, put in a new thing, and uh, just continue on that road. So that's the takeaway that I hope uh, you got from that video. Um, I tried not to talk too fast. I probably did actually end up talking a bit too fast there. <laughs> uh, but what you can do is you can go back in my video, you can just like pause it, make it play slower. Um, just slow it right down on YouTube and I'll be talking really slowly but okay so check out the endless wealth plan if you like it is a system where a plan where we have the business we have the marketing system we have the traffic and it all promotes each other and builds itself also feel free to connect with me on Facebook at the link below I promise I won't talk as fast on Facebook although I do type quite fast uh, but I love to chat with you on Facebook. I love to get to know you and uh, connect with you further. And uh, also, um, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next video.